On behalf of Todd and Trisha, it is my privilege to say a personal word of greeting and welcome. You are special in our hearts and in their lives, and they are honored that we have made the effort to be here to share this tremendous time of coming to you. It is their desire that you enter into the joy, the beauty, and reverence of the following moments. You may be seated. Todd and Trisha, today you are presenting yourselves before this congregation with the clear intention of uniting your lives voluntarily and honorably for the service of God and man. You are making a double dedication to each other in a lasting and indivisible union that shall endure for the remaining years of your lives, and to God, that he may make you this dual instrument for the accomplishment of his purpose. The achievement of this purpose will require appreciation of each other's abilities and virtues, forgiveness of each other's faults, and unfailing devotion to each other's welfare and development. I charge you, first of all, to consider that your promises to each other are made in the presence of God, who remembers your pledges and who holds you responsible for performing them. They must be kept holy before him. I admonish you to keep in mind that each of you is the object of Christ's redemption and should be valued accordingly. Neither should be neglected or belittled by the other. Esteem each other as God's gift. I encourage you to share willingly and sympathetically your joys and worries, your successes and your struggles. Whichever may prevail, cling closely to each other, that defeats may be met by united strength and victories by united joy. I charge you to make your home a place where you will have a refuge from the storms of life, not only for yourselves, but also for others who may be your guests. In short, recognize the Lord Jesus Christ as the head of your house, the ruler of your destinies, and the object of your deepest affection. If you do, he will confirm your marriage by his guidance and will overshadow it with his peace. I charge you to love each other, to support each other, and to serve him with sincere hearts and determined wills until your mutual service for him is completed. Will you guys pray with me? God, I thank you so much for this time with Todd and Trisha. And Lord, I'm reminded of your word. Lord, in Ephesians 3, chapter, in Ephesians 3, verses 20 and 21, now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all that we could ever ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us. I pray that their marriage would shine like a star in the universe and that you would protect them all the days of their lives. God, we thank you for the privilege of being able to share this time with them. In Jesus' name, amen. Todd, will you take <laughs> Trisha to be your wedded wife, to live together in holy matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and cherish her in sickness and in health, in sorrow and in joy, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? Trisha, will you take Todd to be your wedded husband, to live together in holy matrimony? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and cherish him in sickness and in health, in sorrow and in joy, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as he goes to shut Brian Durham will now exchange that. Trisha, I acknowledge God's presence in our lives. I acknowledge God's presence in our lives. And I believe that he has led us together to share our lives with so I pledge to you my undying love, I pledge to you my respect, my devotion, and my love. Without reservation from this moment, I promise that with God's help, I will be a faithful, loving husband. And that whether times are easy or hard, I will always remember that each of us is meant for the other. Each of us with Christ as the head of our home. God, I acknowledge God's presence in our lives. And I believe that He has led us together to share our lives with each other. So I pledge to you my undying love, my respect, my devotion, and my life. Without reservation, from this moment on. I promise that with God's help, I will be a faithful, loving one. And that whether times are easy or hard, I will always remember 
Take each of us to that video. The price is the home market. Bride and groom will now exchange rents. With this ring, with this ring, I seal the commitment I have made to you today. I seal the commitment that I made to you today. May you wear it proudly as my wife. You wear it proudly as my wife. With this ring, I seal the commitment I have made to you today. Okay. May you wear it proudly as my husband. God, again, I thank you for Todd and Church. Lord, I'm reminded of what your word says. I pray that you would make their home an oak of righteousness, a planting of the Lord for the display of your splendor. God, we recognize that you are bringing this couple together. And so I pray for your guidance every day of their life. I pray that most importantly, they would recognize that you love them so much and that you desire to be in a relationship with them guide them every day of their lives. I pray that through every season that they go through the world, you would guide them, that you would comfort them, that you would be their peace, their encouragement, and that when people look at their marriage, they would ultimately, they would ultimately see a picture of your incredible love that you have for this couple. In Jesus' name, amen. And as much as you, Todd and Trisha, have consented together in holy matrimony, and have before God and this company of witnesses committed your lives to each other, and have exchanged vows and rings. By the power vested in me from the throne of God, it is with exceeding joy that I pronounce you, Todd and Trisha, as husband and wife, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. You may kiss your brow. Time, Mr. and Mrs. Todd Blakeney. Thank mm -hmm. you. 